I am Yafra Khan from Skill Curve and in this lab we will learn how to load data in Google Cloud BigQuery in various formats using BigQuery API. Let's first look at some data file formats that BigQuery support. Avro file formats belongs to Apache Hadoop ecosystem. It stores data in a binary row based data format which makes it faster to load than other file formats in BigQuery. It bundles the serialized data and schema in the same file, which means that BigQuery can automatically retrieve table schema from the source file. Then we have the ORC file format. This is also a machine-readable binary format belonging to Apache Hadoop ecosystem, but it is a column-based data format. Because of its columnar format, it tends to load slower than the Evro file format. Parquet is another data format that is used in Apache Hadoop ecosystem. Like Evro and ORC, this is also a machine-readable binary format. Parquet is a column-oriented data file format, but the difference from ORC is that it provides more efficient data encoding and compression schemes, resulting in improved ability to handle complex and large data sets. Generally, ORC provides better space efficiency, while Parquet provides better time efficiency. Another important file format that BigQuery supports is JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It is a text-based format for structured data, and it is based on JavaScript's object syntax. The type of JSON that BigQuery supports is the ND JSON or New Line Delimited JSON, where one line represents a single record. JSON and other text-based formats tend to load slower than the binary file formats. Lastly, we have the CSV file format, which stands for comma-separated values. As the name suggests, the text-based data in a CSV file is separated by commas, and each line represents a single data record. It is the most popular file format for storing data sets, mainly because it is more human-readable compared to other formats and shows the data in table form. The choice of which data format to use depends on the requirements and use cases. If enhanced loading performance is the priority, then binary-based file formats like Evro, ORC, and Parquet must be used. However, JSON and CSV are more popular because open-source datasets are more easily available in these formats and these are more easily readable. Now we will start working with a lab that loads data in BigQuery in different file formats. In this lab, we are going to load data in three formats, which are Evro, Parquet, and CSV. Firstly, we will log into our Google Cloud account. We will then create an empty data set in BigQuery. We will look at the BigQuery data sets. We will look at the BigQuery's dataset available in a public cloud storage bucket that we are using in this lab in the CSV format. Then we will write Python code using BigQuery API to load data in Evro, Parquet and CSV formats. We will then view our loaded tables in the BQ console. Finally, we will run simple SQL queries on Cloud Shell to verify if the data has been loaded correctly. Now let's get started. Open your browser in the incognito mode. Go to cloud.google.com. If you do not have a Google Cloud account, you need to click on Get Started for free. Since I have an account, I'll click on Sign In. Type in your credentials. Okay, now go to the console. First, we need to make sure that the BigQuery API is enabled. So go to APIs and Services.
scroll down from here click on the BigQuery API and we can see that the status is enabled the first step is to create an empty BigQuery data set for that click on the three dots next to your project and click on create data set Here we need to specify the data set ID I'll name it demo load for the location we need to choose US multiple locations because when we are loading data from cloud storage to BigQuery the data set location must be the same as cloud storage bucket location Now we can see our demo load data set inside our project. Now let's look at the public data set that we'll be using for this lab. So this is a very basic data set having states names and their abbreviation. Now in the Google Cloud console, we will activate the cloud shell. Open the cloud shell editor. So first let's make a folder in our workspace. We will call this bq-load. We will create three python files in this folder, one for each particular data format. Click on new file and we can name this evroload.py. So first we'll import BigQuery. Then we create a BigQuery client object and after that we will set the table ID which would be the project ID dot dataset ID dot the new table ID which we are going to create and we will name this load underscore evro. We will then specify the job configuration for this loading job. So here we need to specify the source format which would be evro. Now we will specify the URI for our data set which is a public cloud storage bucket having the US states dot evro data set. Now we will make an API request through the client dot load table from URI method. Here we will specify the URI table ID and job config as arguments. Then we have the load underscore job dot results method which would wait for this job to complete. We will then specify our destination table using the table name we specified earlier. Finally, we will print a message to CLI which says loaded and then specifies the number of rows loaded. Now we will create a similar Python file for loading the Parquet dataset. We will name this parquetload.py. Here we'll copy the same code that we used for the Evro data file. We just need to change the table name. We need to update the source format. And then we also need to update the file extension in the URI to .parquet. The rest of the code will remain the same. Now let's write a similar code for the CSV file. We will call this csv load.py and we will copy the same code. We know that in the parquet and evro formats, the table schema is contained within the data file. 
However, for CSV, we need to specify the table schema. We will specify the schema in the bigquery.loadjob config method. We will specify the schema argument and we will write the schema within the square brackets. bigquery.schema field and within the parentheses, we will specify our fields and their types. Also, do not forget to change the file extension in the gsutil URI and also update the table name over here. Now let's head back to the terminal. Now we'll run the Python codes that we have written one after the other. First we will move to our folder with cd bq-load. Then we'll run the following command to run the evro load python code. So when we run it, it shows that it has loaded 50 rows. Similarly, we'll run the parquetload.py and it has also loaded 50 rows. Then we will run the csvload.py file. Now let's check the loaded tables in our BigQuery console. So we can see that three tables have been loaded inside our data set. Load evro, load csv and load parquet. And they are the same tables, they just have different formats. We can see two string fields, the name and abbreviation in the schema. Let's go to the preview tab and here we have our data. Now let's head back to the cloud shell terminal. We will write a SQL query to retrieve all the data from our parquet data set. We will use the bq query command followed by the no legacy SQL tag which specified that we want to disable the legacy SQL for this query. Then we'll write the SQL query within the single quotes. Select Starek from our project name, dot dataset name, dot load underscore parquet. So here we can see our data including the states and their abbreviations. We can write another simple SQL query for retrieving the US state name against an abbreviation. For example, if you want to know which state name is represented by the abbreviation AR, we can run this query. Select name from the table where post underscore abbreviation equals AR. So this shows us the name against the abbreviation which is Arkansas. Similarly, we can run another query to know the abbreviation for the state of Maryland. So we'll select post underscore abbreviation from the table where name equals Maryland. So this shows us that the abbreviation for Maryland is MD. So in this way, we can perform SQL queries on this data uploaded in any of the file formats. In this lab, we learned how to create a table and load data into it in three of the file formats through the BigQuery API using the Python code. We then perform some SQL queries on the data through the cloud shell. I hope this was helpful in letting you understand how to load data in different file formats through a simple Python script. Thank you and have a nice day.